Pass the tests from your doctor as you and other fellow dogs are working together. This is Puff of Dogs. In this video, we'll show you a preview for this game and stay tuned till the end so you can get a feel for how it flows. Coming up. Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Yipul University. Okay, let's get into this Kickstarter preview. To be released in 2020 by a Kickstarter, Pavlov's Dogs is a memory-driven party game. It was designed by Heather O'Neill and published by Ninth Level Games. The game plays 3 to 10 players cooperatively in 20 to 45 minutes and is of light complexity. In this video, we're showing you a prototype copy of the game, so the art, rules and components may not be final. In Pavlov's Dogs, players are dog scientists, or doctors, working together to complete a sequence of counting tests. If the team can collectively complete the tests without running out of bones, they'll win the game. At its simplest, one dog controls the experiment while the others alternate, playing five numbered cards. Each player flips a card and then announces the sum of all cards played thus far. So here, five, 10, 11, 11, and so on. Not too difficult. However, in each round, a dog tour test card is added, and this forces the players to remember a new rule which changes the card, leading to confusion and hilarity. For example, easy level cards require players to bark or make some other dog-like action whenever the card they play is of a certain type. For example, two, three, eight. Some rules make certain card types affect the order of play. For example, three, five, skip, five. Some rules change the number on cards. For example, here, two, four, five. And some have even more complex mathematical rules. The rules are ranked from easy to very hard, with enough in each of the categories to allow the complexity of the game to be tailored to different groups including young children, who can have fun with the acting cards up the easy end of the game if the mental math side in the very hard cards are a bit too challenging. Each round, the new rule is added to the ones that are already present, meaning that by the end of the game you'll have to remember between three and eight different rules all at once, depending on your difficulty level. Each player starts the game with three bones and loses one each time they make a mistake. Players can share bones between rounds, but if a player ever completely runs out of bones, then the team loses. If the team completes all the tests with bones in hand, then they win, and the leftover bones represents the team's final score. The game is well suited to children and adults alike, with its wide scope to vary the difficulty. The game has a sharp design, with cute canine features, and clever psychology puns and jokes mixed in. And that's the overview of Pavlov's Dogs. Hope you enjoyed the video! At the time of filming, Pavlov's Dogs is about to be launched on Kickstarter, so we'll put a link in the description below when it's live, so you can check it out if you're keen. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to us. You can do that by hitting the meeple in the corner and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll know when we have new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram for my board games journey. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please write them in the comments section below. Until next time!